Hey guys, welcome back to um, this little series where I read through this book. So, um, let's get right into it. Close your eyes and race around the circuit with a pen, pencil, or paintbrush. Time yourself. There's a five second penalty if you go off track. Switch colors or, or switch tools or colors and race again to improve your lap times. Or challenge a friend. Create racing art. I think I did this with my sister. This is the track, the, the two wide one here. This is the track. You're supposed to stay inside there. Uh, I definitely didn't all along here and up here and here and here. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> make these up. Here are some made up words and their meanings. Add some more of your own. Jam stewing. Wearing your socks for a week at a time. I don't get that one. Handroid. Someone is always... Someone is... Someone is who is always putting their hand up in class. A handroid is someone who is always putting their hand up in class. Crigling. Giggling and crying at the same time. Such as when being tickled. Yeah, crigling, that is a good one. I should use that, actually. <laughs> bed cruster. Someone who avoids having a bath and goes to bed muddy. That is me. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> I am proud to be a bed cruster. <laughs> um, crumge. What you find left at the bottom of the mug after dunking, after a dunked biscuit falls into your tea. Crumge. Hmm, it's not that bad. Snudge. The mark left on a window after you press your nose up against it. The snudge. Oh, nose, rather than mose. <laughs> Smudge and snudge. Yeah. Elationship. Knowing someone only via email or on a social network. That is literally all my friends right now. Uh, Hatarist. This is one I wrote myself. Hatarist. A guitarist who always wears a hat. Comple. Someone eating an apple with a comb over. Or someone who has a comb over eating an apple. Humble? Really? Question this. Make up your own ridiculous questions that, to these answers. So there were answers. Um, the answers were one second. It's massive. <laughs> My friend Justin. Incredibly annoying. Never. 7,613,756 pounds. Gross me old and stinky okay so question one how long does it take to snap my fingers one second how big is Jupiter it's massive well I'm glad I put Jupiter and not Uranus who is the wor the weirdest person you know my friend Justin yes congratulations congratul I, I now I would have wrote my friend myself what is my sister like incredibly annoying <laughs> am i ever annoying never that's nice right now am i ever annoying all the time what's the what's the lowest price i'd be bought for oh so we're going into slavery now if i if i was being sold as a slave What's the lowest price I would be willing to be bought for? Seven million pounds. Yes. Seven point five million pounds. Seven point six million pounds. So seven and a half million pounds. What is mold? Gross. Well, yeah, I get that. But I probably should have wrote down. What is my sister? <laughs> Gross. Um, what is the coolest of cool? Oh, me. Definitely. Especially with the blue hair. <laughs> What is the coolest of cool? ME! <laughs> That's the way it's written though. What is my dad? <laughs> Old and stinky. <laughs> okay, warning. Skip forward two pages. I am turning to the next page. Oh, punishment. Count these. A 
Uh, to count the amount of black squares, the amount of triangles, the amount of white squares, the amount of black hearts, white things, semicircles, and all things. I am not doing that. Don't ever turn back to the page before. That would that would be uh, smart. Tattoo this. Draw how your tattoo would look if you had one. Where would it be? So this, I didn't actually do it, but I'm going to do it now. Well, I'm not going to actually draw it, but I'm going to like explain it on video. If I had a tattoo, it would be a dragon going from either side of my chest over whatever shoulder. If it was on this side, it would go over this shoulder. This side would go over this shoulder. So then, and then around here, back under here, around this way, down, and then all the way down whatever leg so if it was on the right hand side it would go down my left leg if it was on the left side it would go down my right leg and then it would go under my foot which is supposed to be extremely painful when you're getting it done I can, under my foot and then across in front of my toes which would probably be extremely painful as well and then if i didn't get that i would get my name in japanese written down my spine which is also extremely painful <laughs> oh my god i just saw something that i just skipped past who turned out the lights on this here who turned out the lights that just reminded me of an episode of doctor who it scared the shit out of me when i watched it and i actually couldn't sleep with the lights off for like the next week and a half maybe like two or three months afterwards but um the the whole plot of the thing was when the lights turned off anyone that was caught in the dark would be killed and would be replaced like they were wearing suits like um astronaut suits and they would die but the visors would go down so you couldn't see inside and they continue to walk around and they would repeat the same phrase that they had said just before they died and um one of the creepiest ones from that was um a guy died like the light went off and he said um who turned who turned the lights out or something like that and then he died and he just kept repeating who turned the lights out and it was so creepy it was seriously creepy but like whoa i could probably watch that now and i'd be fine but Back then, that was a big deal for me, because at the time, I was really scared of the dark as well. <laughs> I know, this is like one of those videos that you're just finding out so much about me that you didn't already know. But um, I was scared of the dark when I was younger. I'm still slightly scared of the dark now, but not as much. Like, now, I can turn the light off in here and I'll be fine. Ages ago, I'd have to have the light on. But at night, if I'm like going downstairs or something like let's say it's like i don't know two o'clock in the morning and i wake up and i need a drink or something and i'm going downstairs to get a bottle of water i'll have to bring a torch down with me to see where i'm going because i hate being in the dark and i wouldn't want to turn on the lights because i'd make noise and wake people up so <laughs> i was slightly afraid of the dark and that that just that image just reminded me of um one of the reasons why <laughs> one of 13 I'm sorry swap this sign this page with your name to identify it then swap it with your friend for the same page of their book and tape theirs here they will need a copy of this book too I didn't um, swap it but I did write my name and obviously I wrote my signature Adam P Walsh which is right there um, but uh, My sister has this book as well. She also signed it, but we never got around to ripping it out because we didn't want to. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to at the time, but she was like, no, no, I can't rip out pages from the book, even though it says at the start of this book, be daring with this book. If you want to tear something out, tear it out. Would you rather sneeze at the end of every sentence or squeak when you speak? I put sneeze at the end of every sentence. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Actual Archer, and today we are looking at this book. Uh, uh, achoo! 
Now, um, this book, uh, it, it's, it's called Don't Eat This Book. Achoo! And set fire to your hair. It's probably best to wear a helmet and elbow pads while reading it just to be on the safe side. Seriously, though, exercise reading them will care for yourself and others while using this book. Achoo! Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be doing more of these, uh, Don't Eat This Book videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big like. Slap the like button, whatever you want to do, because then I'll know you want to see more of these. It doesn't matter, I'm doing more of them anyway, so, yeah, I've already recorded them, so. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!